my name's Sherry Smith. I'm a Roman Gypsy. I was born in Hertfordshire. The right to roam to me means cultural freedom for my people. For hundreds of years we've travelled up and down the length and breadth of the country to chart affairs, um, for work, for trade. So this is Gypsy Lane in Welling Garden City in Hertfordshire. Traditionally this would have been a stopping place where travellers would have come down from the chart affairs or from the north to London for more work. And traditionally, when they came through towns, their trades would be respected. So the basket weaving, the knife sharpening, the peg making, you know, the local community would wait for us to come and they would be happy about it. Um, now, these traditional stopping places, you can see this is now a golf club. So you've got all these lovely golf greens. And then you've got this metal fence that is impenetrable. But in front of that, you've got this, which this is here for one reason, to stop caravans, to stop stopping places, to stop traveling in the UK. Gypsy and travelers and most people have been pushed on to private land because common law land has been taken and stolen and fenced off and that's the basic fact of it. Police Crime Sentencing Bill, um, that's made traveling illegal now. So what that means is that if you travel your homes can be seized and you can be imprisoned. So yeah that's what it means to us. The eradication of traveling which really is an eradication of us as a people. In May 2021, I was online chatting to some other gypsy anarchists, activists, whatever you want to call us, um, and we were so frustrated with the Police Crime Sentencing Bill, and we were frustrated that nobody was doing anything. None of our NGOs and organisations were making any change or standing up to it. So we decided to form an organisation, Drive to Survive, which is a community organisation for Scottish travellers, Welsh, Irish, new travellers from all over the UK. So um, the first thing we did was organise a rally in London um, where thousands of Gypsy Roma travellers attended. We had horses going around Westminster um, and we were able to have a voice there. And that mobilised and politicised the Gypsy traveller community using social media. Um, and so we then went on to Appleby, which was held in the August that year because of COVID, and we held Appleby's Got Talent, um, which was a way to get the community to come in to the tent. But actually, while we were on the stage, we were saying, look what the law's doing to us, look, you know, politicising the community. And then after that, um, we went on to the Tory conference um, where we organised a rally. So we approached um, Manchester Council and we said to them, we'd like a stopping place in Manchester. And they said no. And we said, look, there's gypsies, travellers, new travellers coming to Manchester for a rally. You either give us a stopping place or we're coming anyway. So they did. They gave us a stopping place um, and we were able for the Tory conference to stop in Manchester for a week, right at Central. Um, and we were able to lead the People's Assembly March with horses and make a presence so that people saw that actually there is a drive to survive for our culture. The land that should be common law, that we should be able to take out and use, not just as a gypsy, but you know, we saw in COVID that this land needs to be open. We need to be able to use our green space and it needs to be available to us. So I appeal to all of you, stand with us against the worst racist legislation that's come down in, this, in the UK for many years.